made him stay because I didn't lay down and have this baby by myself. It's the end of the night, honey. It's actually in the morning. So you think it's his mother? Oh, it's grandmother. Oh, it's grandmother. I found this crazy Lori video clip. First and foremost, whenever I met Jihad, it was at the end of February. I was talking to somebody December and January. I get pregnant April 11th. Oh. How in the hell from January to December and I'm due on New Year's? It don't take 12 months to have no baby. It don't take 12 months. It was actually a good day for a change, so that was good. <clears throat> um. I'm tired. Child, get on them fast rides with Bree. I swear. It was fun. Yeah, after about three of them, I got nauseated. I didn't pee from nothing, so I ended up getting a caramel apple. And for some reason, that apple just like bounced me back. And it was cool. It was cool the rest of the night. So we had fun. It was a good day. Trust I know. I normally have a lot of really bad days. And it don't mean that these powers to be ain't out there and they lurking because they definitely creeping. But at least it was a halfway decent day. And I went out and had fun with my daughter. I just wanted her to have a good time. We're both loners. We're both water signs. I'm Pisces. She's Cancer. So we're both loners. And like we've been home all the time. But it's because we want to be. It's not because we have to be. So when we do go somewhere, we're going to the grocery store or Walmart or the shop or something somewhere. Do laundry. Just regular everyday stuff. Go to work and stuff. But other than that, we be chilling the most of the time at home so it was nice to get out and have fun I'm eating some shrimp I think this is butterfly shrimp it doesn't taste as good this is like the regular shrimp but it is like that It's like 2 a.m. No, 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 no. I've been an insomniac ever since. Um, I realized I've been a target. I just don't even know what it feels like to go to bed. 
at night time anymore. It's just, it's like the wee hours of the morning, like every day. Even if I take a day off and we're just like at home all day, I still don't get to go to like really late, which is usually like in the wee hours of the morning, like the next day. When it comes to so, time, I don't land a job. He's so silly. He made up with his baby. So, yeah. The video quality on here is like jacked up. I'm like, I'm not sure how y'all see it on the other side just watching it, but it's like totally jacked up. <laughs> now I was tripping. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and say hey for a minute. We made it home safely. I'm glad my daughter had a good time. I had a good time. It was actually cool. I felt like life was kind of normal for a moment. You know? Every once in a while, these powers that be will do that. But you best believe they be creeping. So they always somewhere lurking around, you know. I'm gonna start eating so late. I'm gonna show y'all the stuff I got. It finally came in the mail. I ordered it and it's supposed I seen it online and I ordered it. And it's it's like this fat burner or whatever, so I'm gonna use it. And like various different areas, like cause I totally have gained weight, like seriously. But chunk it right now, honey. I love me some cake and some bread, though. So like, oh my god. And then like eating late, really late. It, it's not good to eat late and then lay down and go to sleep. Or if you sit down a lot, that stuff it just sits on your stomach like that. So it's a trip. But I actually don't eat a lot. A lot of times, I literally only have like one meal a day. Like literally. It's like amazing. I am even the size that I am. Because I really, I don't eat a lot. I don't, I'm not like, I don't glutton and things like that. Like most of the time, I literally eat one a day. But when I do eat, it's probably late at night or something like that. If I do eat. If it's a day that I'll we'll have something, it's like a little snackable type of something. It's not like a real big old meal. But like if I just have like a meal meal type of thing, it's usually like later in the evening or nighttime or something. But for the most part, I literally only eat like once a day. You wouldn't even think that. You would think I would be more petite considering the fact I don't eat a whole lot. But I love some of the main stuff that like stick to you, like especially cake, bread. Oh my gosh, I can eat bread by itself. And I love me some cake. Oh, Y'all don't even know. I love me some cake. So, um, speaking of, I got me a funnel cake, but um. I'm like probably not even gonna get to eat it on. <sighs> it's amazing how you can do something you really don't like. I actually do not like the smell of cigarette smoke or ashtray. I just, I don't even wanna smoke cigarettes. I wanna like stop smoking cigarettes so if you know how to stop smoking cigarettes let me know because i want to stop it i really do 
I've tried before. Like one time I went like freaking a few days, like quite a while without smoking, but I was still around other people that smoke, so, you know, it seems like when you're trying to stop, there's like everybody else around you smokes, and they're like all blowing smoke in your face and stuff, and then all of a sudden it's like, forget it, let me get serious. And, you know, being a target, the stress levels get high, and you just like, oh my god, I need a cigarette. And I would much rather, even though I want to stop, I would much rather be smoking a cigarette than smoking dope. So, like, yeah. I don't do drugs at all. I don't even smoke weed. I don't do any kind of drugs. But it's a ridiculous that tobacco is more addictive than a narcotic. Like, how does that work? It's like... It's poison in here though, addictive poison, I'm telling you. So if anybody have a remedy on how to stop smoking cigarettes, like the patches do not help. I've done that before. And I think it's really stupid, like the nicotine supplements, any type of supplement for something else, especially when you're talking about addiction to something. It's stupid. Like, I don't want nicotine gum. Like, why would you use another product that's still releasing nicotine in your system? Like, if I'm get the nicotine anyway, I might as well just smoke a cigarette. You know? It's almost like, say like a person who's addicted to meth. Like, their cure for that is not actually a cure. You just get a different medication in another form so like if a person was in an addict on meth and say they went to rehab or something they would put them on something called methadone which is still meth in a pill form it's stupid like you you want to get rid of a habit not like you know stroke it with some other type of supplement of it like that don't make sense crazy that's like telling a person like a person that's an alcoholic they're trying to stop drinking and your cure for stopping drinking is saying oh just have one drink a day yeah that's not gonna work so, it's crazy so the stuff out here that they have to like this supposed to help you stop smoking it still has nicotine in it like you have the nicotine gum, you have nicotine patches, those things still release nicotine into your system. If you're still going to be getting nicotine in your system, you might as well just smoke a cigarette and be through with it. You know, like, that's just like trying to tell a person, like say a person that smoked blunts, like weed of blunts, you know, and cigars and stuff. Oh, I'm trying to stop smoking weed. Okay, well here, just, just smoke a joint instead. It's still the same weed. It's just a smaller form and wrapped in paper instead of a cigarette. So it's stupid. It's really stupid. But this government, like, they don't want people healthy and well because they want they want to depopulate. So they want more people to die off faster, and and so like. Keeping people ill or sick in some type of way or something is like big business for them. And the the, the pharmacy, the pharmacia and stuff like that, medications, there's just, it's it's not about a cure. It's very few medications that cure anything. You have some things that cure stuff, but like if you're a diabetic, if you have sickle cell anemia, if you have um, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Um, lupus like anything that you could possibly think of or name they've got a medication for it but the medication doesn't cure the problem it doesn't get rid of the problem it masks the problem which means you still have the problem but you're tricking your mind with this medication to make you believe that the problem is not there anymore but it still is which is stupid people don't think about it like that it's just like if you have pain and you take a pain pill, that pain didn't go anywhere. That pill just tricked your mind to make you believe that that pain isn't there anymore. So you take that medication and for a while you don't feel the pain. But when that medication wears off, guess what? 
you're back in pain again, so you need another pain pill and another pain pill. It's crazy. They make hella money off of keeping people ill or keeping people sick. They make a lot of money off of people having to regu uh, regularly buy medications or get medications or whatever. Depending on how your insurance plan is set up or whatever. It's really dumb. It's really dumb. Just like a person who is stressed or depressed or or have anxiety or suffering from PTSD, you're not going to cure that problem. Now you can go and talk to somebody and they're going to um, pull out their prescription pad and they're going to give you um, an antidepressant, a mild sedative, you know, some type of um, volume or something it doesn't mean you won't be stressed anymore or depressed anymore you're actually still going to be stressed you're still going to be depressed that that all of that stuff is still there but that's the medication is going to trick your mind to make you believe oh my god i'm not depressed anymore but guess what then you get a medication that's supposed to help with your depression now you're not depressed now the medication is making you have suicidal thoughts so you've gone from depressed to being given this drug by a uh recommended by some type of therapist or something or some type of doctor to say oh take this this will help with your stress and your depression but now that has turned into suicidal or homicidal thoughts now you know you're liable to have erectile dysfunction you're liable to gain weight you're liable to it, it's 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 crazy it's absolutely crazy It's just a mask a problem. It don't cure the problem. It's like people who take birth control. I feel like birth control tricks your mind and make you more promiscuous to have sex. Because most birth control stops a woman's cycle. Now, most women slow down with having sex when their cycle comes. So, at least maybe two weeks out the month. She's either not going to be having sex or not having sex as much. But if she's on birth control, she's not having cycles at all. So she's freely open and available to just screw all the time. You know? And then if you stop taking the birth control, you'll bleed for like a month or two straight. Until your body system catches back up in itself and your cycles become regular again. It's crazy. But anyway, so yeah, moral of the story, I want to stop smoking, so, like I said, anybody that know, a good remedy for stop smoking, let me know, I think I'm just going to try cold turkey again, because, you know, I was able to loose and release bad habits and things from me, so, um, with, hard, with some hard work and some determination, I'm pretty sure I can do the same thing with cigarettes. Whew, it just makes it really hard when you're like stressed out every day over unnecessary crap. They've been doing this lately, y'all. Lately, That's the smoke detector. Um, there's like nothing on. The thing is like steady going off. They hack everything. Anything electric, electronical, they hack it. <laughs> Ever since I've been doing this recording, I know they're listening and watching, so now they got this thing, like, going off all crazy. Yeah, so 
They've been hacking into that thing for days, and it's like ridiculous. It really is. It's been getting on my nerves. And usually it'll beep like a couple of times. It'll be like beep, 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 or a few times, like three times, and then it'll go off, and it, it won't do it anymore. And it seems like they they're hacking into the thing. I'm telling you, anything they can literally. I'm telling you, they got technology to, like, you know, beam through the walls of your freaking house and watch you. They can hack into any damn thing and just cause all kind of freaking unnecessary noise harassment and mess that is, like, absolutely freaking ridiculous. Anyway, it's like... What time is this? It's like 2.25 in the morning. I know most of you all are probably sleeping. Which is what I'd rather do. Be resting. But who knows how long I'm going to be up. So I just wanted to come on and say that yesterday was a good day. We had fun. We made it home safely. We ate, we drank, we played, we rode rides, we played games, we got cool little trinkets and stuff, and it was a good day for a freaking change, like seriously. So, anyway, I just wanted to tell you all that, have a good night, I'll be up for a little while, I'm being deprived of sleep. But, I will see you all later. The video quality on here is so jacked up. I don't know how to fix it any better, though.